Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, we'll be seeing how to use AI to do a virtual e-commerce photo shoot without ever stepping inside a studio. So in case we have, let's say the image of our product, like the blue jacket that you can see in front of you, then how can we use AI to create AI models and then place this jacket onto them in different poses and have this entire shoot ready with us. So we're gonna be using Pencil AI for this. However, if you've been following my videos, Pencil AI gives you 20 credits that you can use for free. So once I've shown you this process towards the end of the video, because it can happen that you run out of the 20 credits so you can't use Pencil anymore, I will be showing you two alternatives to Pencil so that you will still be able to follow this entire process of doing this virtual photo shoot using AI using those other free software because there the credits also replenish but wait till the end of the video because I'm going to reveal that towards the end so first of all let's get started with Pencil itself so how do we start this process well the first thing is that we need some kind of an inspiration so yes we know that we have got this particular jacket with us by the way I've given you all these images so you'll be able to download that from the description of the video also the link to pencil ai will be given in the description of the video and so we have this right now we need some kind of an inspiration so let's say we went over to amazon and we saw one of our competitors who had this red jacket we found their product and we saw the they were using these images of this model so that can serve as an inspiration that, you, you know what, these three shots is something what I would like to have for my own blue jacket. But of course, I can't use their image. It's not like I can just pick this image and use one of the AI tools to do a cloth swap. That can be done, but that will be illegal because you'll be using their own model. So we have to, first of all, create our own model and then we have to do the cloth swap. So how do we go about this? So let's take one of these images as an example. So let's start off with number two here okay because this is a good pose he's sitting on this cube very popular pose when it comes to these e-commerce shoots so what we're going to do is we have to first of all find a way to create our own ai model which has let's say this pose that we got inspired by now how are we going to do that we're going to be using another ai tools help which is chat gpt so let's go to chat gpt so once we are on chat gpt we can just attach this image so let's do that and then we can just type in prompt to create the attached image. And let's wait for the results. And you can see that here's a detailed prompt to generate a similar image using AI. So you can see, right, writing this yourself would have been very tough, but you can see that literally described everything in the image. It's all there in the prompt. We can just copy this. Now comes the next part. Which AI model do we use to generate this? There are a lot of text to image models. If you've seen my last video where I did a complete review of Pencil, you would have seen that Pencil outperforms so many of the text to image models out there. However, this is one area where, like I mentioned before, I will be showing you an alternative to Pencil in case you've run out of the free credits later on towards the end of the video. I'll, I'll show you that free alternative, okay? So, but right now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to text to image because this generates very realistic uh, looking models. So we're just going to copy the prompt here. We don't really have to do anything else. In the, the orientation, we can select portrait because even the original image that we got inspired by was in the portrait aspect ratio. And then in style, you can just leave it at no style. So we're going to hit generate and let's wait for the results here. And you can see that this is the first result that we've got. And yeah, you can see that it is slightly closer to that, but not 100% similar so let's hit generate again because oftentimes the generations are totally different you can see this looks pretty good but if you see the jacket because that's going to be our main product that looks a bit uh you know it's not really visible and it's all crammed up here so let's just hit generate till the time we find that image each generation will cost you one credit something like this now you can see that this starts to look closer to what we had let's just hit generate once more so you might have to do this a couple of times. Of, uh, do pay attention to the hands because sometimes AI struggles with fingers. But usually, this is where uh, pencil is really, really good. You can also try to change the orientation in case you're not finding the uh, good results in portrait. I've seen changing this also makes a lot of difference. So maybe we can try, try square. And that, of course, doesn't look real. Let's just try this once more. Once more, 
I think this is not bad at all. Only thing is his uh, f the, the feet, the shoes here don't look good. Let's just go back to portrait and let's just do this once again. And I think this looks really nice, okay, for what we are going for. So we are going to hit download image now. And now comes the next part. So since we have this image, but you can still see it has that little polished AI look, we want to turn this into f like a photorealistic look. So how do we do that? Well, inside pencil, we can go again to tools and we can go to a tool called AI detailer. So let's go to this. And here, if we just upload this image that we have downloaded, we'll be able to make it even more real. So let's do that. So we've added the image here. And how this tool works is you get two or rather three uh, parameters here. One is that uh, this area where you can enter the prompt, we're soon gonna enter that. Resemblance is when you do turn this into something more realistic, how close the image should be when it comes to the outlines. So we really wanna follow the outlines. So resemblance will be very conservative. We'll push it all the way uh, to two. That means we're telling this tool, don't change the pose, okay? It should be exactly like this. Creativity means can it add any sort of elements on its own? Now we do need creativity because what we're going to add here is we're going to say add texture to skin. That means make it look like a real photograph, not the AI polished look. So we, of course, we can't. So here is the opposite, okay? With creativity, if you pull this down, we're actually saying that be very conservative. That means don't change, don't add any elements, but that won't make any sense because we do want to add the texture. So the question is, we also don't want to go all the way here because then it can totally change the person. So what I've seen with this is something like 0.5 is a good bet. And once you hit generate, it's definitely going to make some changes to the person. But overall, we'll definitely get something which looks more like a photograph rather than an AI generated model. And if even if it changes the person a bit, that's not such a bad thing because ultimately we'll be okay with something like this also. But now if you look at this image as compared to before, this looks like a proper photograph. We don't mind if the person has changed because that person anyway doesn't exist. Neither does this person, right? So we are going to now hit download and we've got our first image. Then what we're going to do is we are basically going to follow the same process for the other two images also. So of course, I'm not going to show this because I'll, I'll be doing exactly the same thing. But finally, after doing this process, here are the three images of our own AI models. And you can see that this looks pretty good. Now we come to the next, next task, which is we just need to do a clothes swap with our own jacket. So again, this is also an area where later on towards the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you a completely free AI tool, even though Pencil is also free, but like I keep repeating, you might run out of credits on uh, Pencil and it doesn't replenish, right? So right now I'm going to be using Pencil. I'm going to go to Tools because it has a clothes swapping tool, which I've shown uh, before also in one of my videos. And here to finish off the process, what we're going to do is we're going to upload our model image and then we're going to upload our jacket here. So let's do that. And the moment you upload your image, it's going to ask you, how much do you want to crop this? We just want to make sure he is completely within the frame. So I just need to include his shoes. So let's just crop this. Let's also add the blue jacket here. All right, so we have added our jacket also, and you can see it's slightly going out of bounds. We can't really move this, even though to be frank, it doesn't make a difference, but what you can do here when such a thing happens is to just use the mouse wheel, okay? To just zoom out a bit, that's all. So now you can see that this is fitting in. We can make sure this is center and we're gonna hit crop. And now make sure here in this menu, we select the the correct thing, which is upper body in this case, and let's hit generate. This is gonna cost you four credits. That's why I will be showing you a free alternative to this also, which works as well. But right now, let's wait for the results here. All right, so you can see that we have now been able to generate our own jacket on this person. And you can see this looks exactly like this. The only thing is you can see the, uh, the resolution is really low, so it really downscales the image, but that's not a problem because it also gives you the option of upscaling the image right from here. So whenever you like something, you can just hit upscale and that is gonna just make it sharper. And you can see that that really made it look really sharp and nice. And then once you are happy with this, you can hit download. And then finally, I did the same things with the other poses also, and you can see the results in front of you. And you can see that we never stepped inside a studio.
And we were able to achieve all this without stepping into a real studio or doing a real photo shoot. So this is definitely the future of photography. These tools are not perfect, but they are still getting there. But before I end this video, I did promise you that I'll show you something where the credits also replenish so that in case you run out of the credits on pencil, what should you do? So if you think of this process, there are two main components here. One is generating the model. That means the text to image model. We need a tool for that. And the second is we need to be able to do the cloth swap like this. So I'm gonna show you two separate tools where the credits replenish every 24 hours. All right, so another text to image AI generator that I've been very, very impressed with is by freepick.com. It's called Picasso. I'll leave the link again in the description to this. Here you can see that you do get credits and they replenish every 24 hours. So you can actually use it. Sometimes the generations are a bit of a hit and miss, but you can see these images also look good so definitely if you use it for a day if you try enough you will be able to get at least two to, two to three images which will serve your purpose so this is something to keep an eye out on because the images look really real in fact i would even say that here you may not even have to do that whole part about turning an image into something more real like we did with the ai detailer back in pencil because here the generations you can see that they kind of have this really real look when it comes to the skin but of course when it comes to the other things, you will just have to do a bit of trial and error. Let's also see the clothes swapping tool, which is completely free. All right, now this was a bit tough to find something that you can use for free when it comes to actually putting on clothes from your own photograph. This was not easy because most of the free AI tools out there allow you to change the clothes, but by writing text prompts, not by uploading the image of your own jacket. But finally, I was able to find something that works in a similar way as to what we saw with Pencil, and this is called the new black.ai slash virtual try on clothes. I've given the link in the description. Very simple to use. Once you see this interface, you do get some free credits. Upload the photo here, then upload the photo of the jacket and simply hit try on now and you'll get this image. What I've seen with this is the results can be a bit of a hit and miss. For example, you can see that it's just added that extra design here, but this is something that you can easily edit in Photoshop. So it shouldn't be such a big deal because the main thing here is that you will be able to use it for free. So in case this video helped you out, do give it a like. And if you want to follow along all my experiments with the upcoming AI tools, which can help photographers do their job in a very quick and easy manner, then make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.